I, I'm, I'm, listen, I, listen, we all get one, okay? I am full of regret. Listen, Tell me we regret all... and shame, okay? Ah, regret and shame, I'm <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to Barely Bearable Besties. I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca. So, it's been has it been a while since we've recorded? I feel like it's been more than a week since we've recorded. Yes, because we were supposed to record earlier in the week, um, but I was under the weather. Under the weather is really <laughs> a nice way to describe what you were feeling. I was not feeling very very. I won't well go into week. all the details, but there was one point where I was standing in like the outside, and she walked over. Well, we were just gotten out of class. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, I got to go to my another, my next class. You walked about maybe three yards and then you sat down. <laughs> I and, couldn't and, make and it. And you, you physically could not make it. But but even right before that, I don't mind sharing. Right before that, I like fell asleep. You fell asleep like, like laying, on concrete. Yeah, laying down on like a concrete wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't, and I, and I, I don't even know how it happened. Like, like I, I was so feeling Yeah, sick. you were out. I wore a mask too. Like I was, I was awful. I was okay the next day, and now I feel much better. Like, if you hear it in my voice, I still have, like, sinusy stuff. Uh-huh. But, like, other than that... Other than that, I mean... Other than that, I feel much better. Yes. I went on a hike Back today. To normal... Yeah, you went on a hike today. No, because, like, fresh air, you know? No, it certainly Like, fresh helps. air will make you feel better, and yeah. it did. And it was funny because um, some of the other people on the hike, like, started getting sniffly after the hike because... Uh -oh. well, no, because it was cold and stuff. Right. And... And meanwhile, I was like, oh, I feel so much better now. Yeah. My sniffles are going away now. And so it was... <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's been really freezing this week. Yeah. Um, it's typically... We're in the south. It's around... It's supposed to be in the 60s, 70s. It's been in like the 30s and 40s this week. Yeah, it was um, rough. It's supposed to get back into the 70s. I prefer the cold. And I don't that. have my jacket, though, or I would really like it. Like my two... You have, oh, you have like two... My two, two coats. Yeah, I have that brown one I wore all last year. And then that like long pink trench coat uh, I have. You have that cool denim jacket. Yes. Though, the black one. Which one? Oh, I do. What I do? But it's not as warm. Right. It's soft on the inside, but it's not Ooh, like okay. warm. Those okay. two coats are warm and I miss them. Hmm. I'm going to get them soon. Oh, yeah. You're gonna nah, I'm going to I'm going home in like two weeks. So. Ooh, all right. Yeah. For a fall break? Uh, yeah. Well, so I have my next competition. But... Oh, that's right. Well, what about your last competition? Um, Which, I mean, yeah, it was, so it was it was uh, less of a like competition and more of like. For those who don't know, it was a powerlifting. Powerlifting, I compete in powerlifting. If you don't know that, why did I look at the mic? Mic, if you don't know. Road microphone. <laughs> but always um, there for us, little buddy. But no, yeah, I compete in powerlifting, and so um, our university held a like kind of powerlifting competition where uh, like a lot of the school comes and watches, mm -hmm. and it was really the, fun. The most. Um, I've seen the most people I've seen at an event our university has held besides graduation. So. Yeah, no, it's really cool. So it was really fun. I had a great time. We just got a bunch of the pictures, and that was it was great. So yeah. <laughs> and then my next one is in two weeks in North Carolina. Ooh, it's in out out near Charlotte, right? It's I don't know. It's in Denver, North Carolina. I think that's in near Charlotte. I don't know. And but... I double checked that it's Denver. North Carolina. We are confirmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that plane ride would have been really awkward if you figured out halfway through this. I'm in fact not Colorado. <laughs> no, I like go up to the pilot and I'm like, hey, can we turn this thing around? Yeah, like, listen. Sorry, sorry. I messed up. <laughs> My bad. Won't happen again. But like, I need to go to North Carolina. And I don't know if you know who Colorado. I am, yeah, I, but like, I fly a lot. So I if fly you could a lot. Just, I I own this plane. Turn around. I probably paid your paycheck. <laughs> Uh, I also have a podcast. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you know, but I have pre-check. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're, so not even, you're not even first class. You just have pre, <laughs> you just have TSA pre-check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which, oh, by the way, is worth it. I, I, I'm sure. I have to renew my pre-check, actually. Because it lasts, like, five years or something crazy. Mm -hmm. To be fair, though, I've definitely been to an airport and the pre-check line's fat longer than it's, the... Yeah, but you still, um, you don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take your computer out of your bag and stuff like that. Like, it's far more convenient. Hmm. Like, like, even even if the line's longer. Sponsored by um, the Charlotte Douglas Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the airport? Well, no, you're no, not flying. I fly out of GSP all the time. Mm. 
I ain't got nothing there, but I like it. It's sweet. Sponsored by GSP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay with me because then maybe I could get uh, discounts. We could be sponsored by an airline. Well, actually, I don't want to be sponsored by an airline. I want to be sponsored by an airport. No, you know why that would actually be great? Because when eventually we're, like, recording from apart yes then they'll be like you know what let's fly let's, you out let's fly you guys out we'll do a show together we'll fly you back we'll fly you back for free for free and we'll give you more money after that wow this is a great deal i sign you <laughs> sound good to you that sounds fine by me all right gsp let's go gsp clt ind i don't care <laughs> I th- no the indy airport is my home i love mm. the indianapolis airport with my whole heart okay anyways i'm so sorry i actually really I, unpopular opinion mm. i really like the newark airport I don't have a specific opinion. I, a lot of people hate it. I think it's fine. I was They weren't very nice to me, but I don't need them to be. I don't need TSA to be nice to me. I I prefer them being mean to me, actually. It just makes me feel alive. This last... They... Oh, go ahead. No, you're good. They, so every time I've been to an airport... I've only been to an airport a few times. Every single time they pulled me aside, which apparently is uncommon. I don't know why. It's really But funny. like every single time. The first time I ever went on an airport... Tall. Maybe. It's skeptical. <laughs> why is he so tall? He's got a trench coat on, too. Put that apart <laughs> and there's just like six people. Like six, <laughs> Um, children just in a <laughs> suit or raccoons. Muppets. The six Muppets in a suit. Waka waka. Um, so, <laughs> so um, I, the first time I ever went to an airport, um, I walk over and I had like jeans that were like hand me downs, like they were very baggy for me. Okay. So I had like jeans that were like sort of bunched up around my ankles. So they're mm-hmm. like, okay, we gotta check that. So he pulls me aside, he starts patting my ankles down, and he says something to the effect of, "Well, either you're really good at hiding stuff, or you have really thick ankles." Have a good day. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. And th- then we got married. <laughs> <laughs> Has thick ankles, red flag, or... <laughs> well, I mean, that brings us to our topic, but let's... Well, we have one more yeah, thing. Not yet, I know. To address. No, but I'm just saying... No, no, we have one would have been a segue. We have one more thing ready. to address, though. Happy one birthday! very important thing. Yes, it was my birthday this time last week. Yeah. We're recording this on a Saturday, but this time Happy. last week, October 15th, it was my birthday. Happy birthday! Yeah. Bestie! I, I had a lot of fun. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Um, we just went to my sister and my... I went with my sister and her friends to, like... We just went downtown, and we just hung out. We the pictures out. looked really fun. You posted some of the pictures. Yeah, so we went, da- so we went downtown uh, in my city to a um, festival that was going on. Then we went to a flea market... And I don't have too many. Did you get anything at the flea market? Um, I got a I, I got a t shirt. It was a Jurassic Park t shirt. My oh, favorite nice. movie. So um. Yeah, your favorite movie. My favorite. It is my favorite, favorite movie. movie. It's they your favorite ha- movie. They didn't have any Star Wars shirts though. Yeah. It had a lot of vintage t shirts though. It had a lot of like vintage like, you know, concert t shirts you'd get from like the concerts in like two thousands and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Except for none of them had the you know the tour dates on the back that yeah. they always have, to, which to me is like, what's the point then? Why? Like, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to buy a shirt at a concert, mm-hmm. that's like, it's going to be like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I want it to have the cities on the back. Okay, yeah. Because well, like, oh, that's my city, or oh, that's the city I went to, you know? No, you know, I actually, used to love, because they used to, at, at some, some of them would like star your city. Okay, I've never had that. Okay, that was really cool. So, I can't think of what I have that does that. I'm trying to win. I went to a concert in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it was by a, a, a um, I don't know, the, like a rock metal band, Coheed and Cambria. And they had the dates on there, and they sw- my, they got the date that I w- that they went to Charlotte wrong. It was That's like funny. swapped with another one. Oh my gosh! And I still have that shirt. It doesn't fit anymore, but I still have it. That's fun. But um, I think I still have. I, I think I like I've I've been to quite a few concerts, and I almost always get a T-shirt because mm-hmm. I'm audience. In case you don't know, I'm like a big memories person. Mm-hmm. Like like I don't want to forget anything ever. Mm. Probably to a fault. Like, I just... Sure. I, like, especially my pictures. We've talked about that on the podcast. I have a... Have we? Yeah, once, because okay. it was when we filmed on your camera. So we yes. mentioned that. You yeah. have... I have an obscene amount of photos on my phone. Yes. I just do. Um, but, but so I keep... I keep a lot of things. And so uh, I believe I have, like, all of the t-shirts I've had. Mm. Like, like, I think I even Do you get have... a t-shirt from every concert you go I to? I do. Okay. I, I, I'm trying to think of the concerts I've been to. Because I've, I've been to a few... No, because I haven't summer... been since COVID, though, of course. Yeah. I, I, but I'm going to a concert um, next in like two weeks, and I'm really excited. Fall break. It's at uh, it's in DC, and it's it's called the Black Cat. It's like a, a it's just a, it's a club. It's like a nightclub, and they're having live music. It's like a live music venue, so I'm going. I'm really excited. That'll be really Tickets cool. Tickets are super cheap. I don't even know the it's band, the best. but I'll let you know how it was. I mean, it's it'll be fun. No, but I mean that's kind of how I really got into the 502s. The poster on my wall right here. Um, because. Just so you... 
went to, they were, like, yeah. opening or something? Well, no, no, it was their concert, but I got, um, I started getting, like, random Instagram ads for them, like, a couple weeks before the concert, mm-hmm. and then I got, I, like, started just listening to them, and then, like, I think it was two weeks later on the dot, it was like, hey, we're in your city, and I was like, okay, well, I have to go now. Ooh, okay. And then after that, I was like, oh, I love you guys, this yeah. is great. You, you met them, too. Yeah, because they're, like, really cool guys. Yeah, no, maybe I'll get to meet the band. So, I mean, hey, maybe, um... Hammered Holes or Divorce Horse will be my new favorite thing. I'm really Divorce upset. Divorce Horse? That's Divorce kind of a great Horse. name. Yes. I kind of like I'm it. I'm really upset because my favorite band, Teenage Halloween, they're going to be in D.C. The, the week before I'm going to D.C. So you just fly over and over. This is why we need the sponsorship. Yeah, this is why we need a sponsorship because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, fly Thomas out because then he can come back on the podcast and talk about yeah. it. Yeah, and here's so the thing. see, this I, is giving us here's content. Here's the thing, Teenage Halloween. If you sponsored me, I will um, bring a microphone and I'll report live, and then I'll buy one of your T-shirts. Oh, and see, then, really, you're making money on this. Yeah, you're making money on this because here's the thing: <laughs> I feel like I'm a good amb- ambassador for your brand. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I think we're great amb- 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 ambassadors. ambassadors. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> we are ambassadors. That was terrible. I think I said it too, though. Ambassadors. So. Ambassadors. What did I say? Ambassadors. Amba- ambassadors. Ambassadors. We are great ambassadors for your ambassadors. for your brand. Um, well, it's like the matadors, but we like, we get it confused, and we show we show up like I'm ready to be yeah, the I'm, ambassador. I'm, so, I'm ready to be your ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. So it, it, they say ambassador. <laughs> they say ambassador. Red flag or Red deal flag breaker. Or deal breaker. What about this one? Okay, so that that con- the most southernmost continent with the penguins. How do you pronounce that? Okay, uh, Antarctica and a- a- Antarctica. Okay, I say Antarctica. Okay. So what if they Antarctica. pronounce it, if they pronounce it Antarctica? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Is that a deal breaker or a red flag? Um. Okay, I think it kind of depends. I think it kind of depends. But b- before we like answer that, okay, how about we talk about? How, what we plan on doing today, which is that. Which is, okay, so we, we have a list of scenarios of people. Yeah. I have a like really that. long list. Yeah, I have things. a few. Uh, we can go through mine first. I think I can okay. convert mine to the format. You don't want to do one, two? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, but so we have a list of like qualities in a man or woman or. Or, or just whoever. a date sometimes. Just a, 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 a date. And we're, we are going to analyze just... Which clearly I'm qualified to talk about here. Yes. <laughs> it's like you on so many dates. You go on a lot of dates that you don't know are dates. That's fair. I have... We don't need to talk about that on this episode. That's a different episode, probably. But I have... Or, oh, like, worst dates or our weirdest dates. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have... I know if I have bad dates. I have weird ones. Yeah. No, I, I have been on dates that I didn't know were dates until after the date. And then I went, huh? I thought we mm. were just buddies hanging around. No. Yeah. But so, I'm working on that. I've gotten better. Sure. I've gotten much better at, 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 at identifying. Identify. I mean, I feel like in, in, in a lot See, of cases... clear communication here's the thing. is important. Yes, but in a lot of cases, I feel like, just for sa- safety reasons don't for say, y'all, if it. you think it's a date, assume that they consider it a date. But I didn't think and it then was a put date the, ever. And then... And on any yeah, of Yeah, because you're dumb. <laughs> yeah, he, Listen, just took you just... To a, he just took you to a... To a... Uh, what was it? A... a symphony a, orchestra. A, a, a symphony orchestra. <laughs> I do that with my friends. I would go to a symphony orchestra with you. It'd be fun. Yeah, but here's the thing. If we had first met and then I did that, then it'd be different. Now, I wouldn't have thought about it. I know you wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, we have a list of things to talk about here. Um, Let me see if I... Do you have some up? Yeah, I have my whole list up, but I don't want you to read it all because there's a lot. Okay. So, we we can go back and forth. And we're just... So, a red flag... Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Good, so, a red flag is... this. Is, I mean, a lot of these may be jokes. Yeah. Well, I, I almost exclusively have funniest, funnier-ish sure. ones. Because, obviously, there's, like, serious things that are, like, oh, that's a red flag. As in, like, hey, you should see that that's a bad thing this person is doing and not pursue them. Like, don't... Right. Like, see the signs of, hey, maybe this is a bad idea. Yes. And deal breakers would be things that it's like... It's like, they do this thing and I I cannot and will not be able to handle it. Yeah. To me, the deal breakers are, he's a 10, but... Sure. It's it's this. Yes. Is that that the deal breaker? Yeah, that was a thing. We we originally had this episode sort of structured as like the... It was a trend... Originally? You mean in the summer? (laughs) Yeah. No, in the... Because this is one of the first ideas we had was to do this idea of like... It was this huge thing in the summer. It was like, he's a 10, but he does this. 
So is he, what is he number is 10? he now? Is he go down? Is he, is he a 10 up? out of 10 or is he, does he go up from that? But now we're going to sort of train it because that's super out of style. And we're hip. We're nothing if not hip. <laughs> we're hip and cool. <laughs> we are hip and cool. We quirky. tick and talk. We. No. Bringing it back. Full circle. To what? To, I said that uh, a couple episodes ago. Oh, you did? Remember? I, was, I don't listen did. to you. Wait, I don't know if we so... put it in the episode. Yeah, we did. Ticking and talking. Mm. When we were like, should we put our stuff on TikTok? Oh, like, yeah, 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 we're yes. hip and cool. We're hip and cool, ticking and, tick and talk. We tick and talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I still so, think we should tick and talk. Um, red flag or deal breaker? Okay. This person has never worn a mask. Not like not like they, they don't now or they didn't often. Like, they have never put one on their face. I feel like that is a super duper duper red flag that becomes a deal breaker. Okay. Um, yeah, be- I feel, yeah, I feel like you... You'd have to make a big stance to not have exactly. one ever. You exactly. Know? And and so what? What other opinions do you have? You know? Exactly. <laughs> and and that's where the deal breaker comes in. Sure. So so I think I think you identify. Oh, you've never worn a mask. That's a red flag. Yeah, because like, you've never worn a mask ever. That's the deal yeah, like, breaker. Because how did how did you get by? Yeah. Like just practically, how did you get by? Did you just either go into places and were you one of those people that would go into a Lowe's and then like film yourself getting like kicked out and start screaming? Like, what are you, were you one of those people? Oh, God. Or or did were were you just like that dude in the bench warmers who just stays in their house the, for their entire no, life? No, because it's different for for people who like don't like wearing masks. I don't think any of us like we're like let's wear masks. This is the best thing in the whole world. But here's the thing: I look really, like I have a lot of cute masks. That's so. true. But but no, I just I just do it. I'm told you tell me wear a mask, I'm putting a mask on. That's sure, what I do. because you're a sheep. That got real quiet. Wow. <laughs> All right. Red. Editor, editor, make that silence longer. <laughs> Editor's you. <laughs> editor, me? editor, once upon a time, was you. It was me. It became me. It became, it, but we do it together, though, most of the time. I done the, week, I've done la- the last two by myself, Thomas. Well, we, that's what we're going to do tonight, though. Okay, fine. In addition to doing our homework and <laughs> watching The Office. And, <laughs> and Avatar. Okay. Um, we're almost done. We are, yeah. With Avatar. Not with The Office. Okay, uh, so I think... I gotta find another show. We'll just start watching Legend of Korra, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I think this is a double double standard, possibly, but mm. they wear flip-flops. Red flag or deal breaker. And I mean, like, like all the time. Like, they wear flip-flops. Like, not, not they wear flip-flops to the beach. That's different. You know, situational. They, they not situationally wear flip-flops. What? What just happened? Um, no, I have a headache. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. That, I think that's a green flag. <gasps> I think that's a green flag because oh, that means, God. because here's the thing. Here's the thing. That means that they have horrible taste, which means that I'll be good. <laughs> you know? Uh, that means. <laughs> All right. If they're sticking All with right. their dumb decision, they'll probably be pretty loyal <laughs> to me. I mean. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Um, because here's the thing. I used to wear flip-flops a lot. Um, of course Freshman year of college, I wore flip-flops all you the time. would. And then I realized that it's kind of gross. They're like, kind of gross because they're sweaty. Yeah, and, no, they're gross. And they're impractical. Like, I couldn't yes. run. No, you cannot What if I'm run. getting chased by a bear? Like, what am I going to do? He will eat you and your dumb flip-flops. Yeah. Well, he'll, he'd spit those stupid things spit out. Spit those out. He'd, he'd um, put them on. He becomes the red here's flag. A, yeah, but here's the thing. Here's, here's the bear. difference. If I were living where you live, mm-hmm. I would say that's a red flag. Because okay. you live, if you live in the Midwest... Yeah. And you wear flip flops all the time. That's that's a red flag. Yes, I. We agree. live in the South. I feel like that's that's okay, sh- no, it that's should fair. be a little more acceptable. That's he- fair. Now on the same note, socks with sandals, red flag or deal breaker, or not? The, or, or we're not talking about like slides. We're talking about like sandals. So that's what I was going to ask you. What do you think? Either way. Um. I don't think slides are comfortable. Personally, really, I love wearing my slides. But, okay, do you have... No, these are not slides. Well, they're slippers, but you have... I feel like they're, it should be almost the same principle. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I don't have a problem with that. They wear, they wear the toe socks. <laughs> That's, That's a deal, deal breaker. breaker. That's a deal, deal breaker. breaker. The Hard. toe socks is a deal breaker. What about the toe shoes? Deal breaker. I feel like that's a deal breaker. Even if it's like, oh, I do outside stuff. No, no. just get shoes. Just, <laughs> just get wear shoes. Do literally anything. Wear shoes. I don't want to see your little toes. Do you want to say one? Toes. Do you want to say one? I want to see your toes. Toes. Um... No, that was dumb. Um, okay. Red flag or deal breaker? They they bring a puppet on the first date. Ooh. Hmm. Now, here's okay, the thing. Hold on. This could be so many a red flag. This could be a deal breaker. This could be the greenest of flags. It could. It, 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 but here's the thing. It here's, depends on. Here's the scenario I, I present to you, though. I, okay, because I was going to say it depends on both the date and the puppet. It depends what on. What puppet both. is a green flag? Fozzie Bear. 
<laughs> if they have an actual like, <laughs> if they have a Muppet, it's <laughs> actually oh, you're it's Jim Henson's great great granddaughter. Um, here's here's what the the thing I present to you though, uh-huh. is that you're on a date, you're at a nice okay. dinner, very nice, nice dinner. dinner. Okay. You're sitting there I'm wearing a dress, and it's and you, he's, it's matches. going great. Okay. It's going, going great. Oh, no. He is nice. He is funny. It's just him and I. And then he, yes. Okay. And then there's I'm nobody else it. in the restaurant. You okay. rented out the whole space for you. Wow. That and, just happened on the flash. And then he said, and then he says, hey, I have a surprise for you. Okay. And he goes and he reaches okay, into his, his little man purse. I'm ready. His... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he brings out. The puppet. <laughs> Why'd you do it so slow? He's... <laughs> he does the voice. <laughs> no, when it's in the puppet's voice. <laughs> yeah, no, and then, no, and then you're on the d- and then you would proceed with the rest of the date, and you're saying like, oh, so how's how's your date, or you, you're the date? Let's yeah, say, yeah. Ask me a question. Oh, how, how's your date? How was how was your day today? Uh, my day was great. Um, J- Jimmy, what about you? Oh, my day's doing great. How, you do- how was your day? So I meant to ask you, um, what do you, what do you well, do? Well, don't be rude when he asks you a question. Sorry, um. Talk to Jimmy. Did, Jimmy. What did you being, say, you're Jimmy? You're being, you're being really rude right now. I just, I just... Uh, well, well, um, Jimmy and, uh, person, um, I meant, <laughs> Arnold, I meant to ask you, <laughs> but I called you earlier. Yeah, please. Arnold, um, what do you, what do you do for work? Are you, a? do you, do you, are you, are you a what puppeteer? Really? In, in front of him? <laughs> we don't use the P word here. <laughs> okay, like, like, is, I think that, that, that whole the scenario, would, the that episode? whole, the P word, no, it's not. The P, the P word is not the title of this episode. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Bianca, <laughs> but I think we're going in a different direction here. <laughs> and that's what you say to the puppet guy. <laughs> Thank you, I think I'm going in a different yeah, direction here. Yeah, I think that, that, I think that this scenario that we've just enlisted <laughs> is, wait, would make me want to set myself on fire. Yeah, I, I, I think what's hard is being like, okay, now you have to talk to the puppet. I think it would be kind of funny if he was like, by the way, here's my puppet. Blah, 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 blah. No, he, on a first date? I mean. You don't whip out the puppet statement. until the third date. It's a statement. Puppet is th- third, that's third <laughs> base, <laughs> is bringing out the puppet. <laughs> that's that's third, third date material? Okay. I, yeah, I, I think that the, oh, no, here's the thing. The only way the puppet works mm-hmm. is if you don't, well, one, don't treat it like an actual independent entity on this day. <laughs> but also, you just say, you just say, you don't put it on at all. I think, I think if you are a puppeteer and you're really excited and really, you're, you love your, your hobby or, yeah. or your job. And you're into the, and you're, in, in you're the into day. the puppets. You like the puppets. <laughs> um, <laughs> then you're like, then you don't put the puppet on at all. Okay. You just, whenever you go back to your house or whatever, you just, you have the puppets sitting on the couch no um you, no you just They're say waiting. you just say oh i just wanted to say, by the way I, as a side hobby i i just do puppets and but you'd never bring the puppet out unless they ask oh, for the see. puppet yeah. then unless you bring the puppet for the puppet you, they have to the consensual puppet. puppetry Ew. you have to so you stupid. have to ask they have to ask you to bring the puppet okay, out. Do not bring the puppet. I repeat, do not bring the puppet out on your own. We're talking to you, puppeteers. We, we're looking at you, you little freaks. Don't. <laughs> okay. All right. I think puppets are cool, but you don't. You don't whip it out on the first date. Okay, but wait. What if? What's the purple Stop guy? Stop trying to make the no, puppet no, work. I'm asking. What if it's the purple guy? What's his name? Randy. Hey, Randy? Yes. What if what if you're on a date with the Randy guy and he's like, by the way, I'm Randy. And it's like, oh my god, you're Randy. I, I think the same principle applies. Because what yeah. if they don't know I don't I know a lot I bet half of if not more than half of our audience does not know who Randy Feltface is. He's like not our favorite comedian, but he's one I of wouldn't people. say our favorite but don't put me in that. I like him. <laughs> I've seen one one clip. You haven't seen the whole thing? No. That's one of my favorite comedy bits uh, then comedy we sessions watch ever. It. Uh, is Randy writes a novel. Anyways, yeah, I want to watch it. Um, but <laughs> we are way too hung up on this. Okay, <laughs> red flag or deal breaker? They have an Instagram account from the point of view of their dog. Hmm. Do you have a lot stronger feelings about this than I do? I have very strong feelings about this. Which is it's stupid. <laughs> you think you think dog accounts are stupid? Yes, I do. Don't. Well, no, because I think the same. I don't know. I just I don't like 
that you get to decide what he thinks and feels. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah. And and because they always okay, I sent you a post about this like yesterday, I think, or maybe today. I don't mm-hmm. know. And it was like pick a lane, decide if you if you want. Like my dog is so smart, he was smart enough to create an Instagram account for himself, but he's not smart enough to spell words right. It's like it can't be both. Oh, oh, you so they yeah no I feel I don't like, like that you don't here's okay you know what Those two I think red, out. I'm thinking red flag now I'm thinking about it because of the. Writing from the POV of your dog. If you yeah. want an Instagram account that is just dog no, that's pictures, different. then I'm okay whatever. With that. I'm cool with that. But I don't. You no, know, I don't like the hey, God, hey friends, and it's like all the it's all the yeah, it's all the misspelled hey, stuff. I don't like friends in general. <laughs> oh man, our show could have been like best friends. We don't. This would have ended. This would have ended so much quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we made it. To, is this episode seven or eight? Eight. Uh, I think eight. Two more, and then it's ten. And then it's ten, and that's more than, we're more than halfway done with our soy milk, our last <laughs> podcast. We had like 14 episodes of our last podcast. We miss you, Joel. We miss you, Joel. Shout out. First guest in three years when we allow guests. Yes. <laughs> um, but, but so I Sponsor think... us, Joel, and then you'll think, think we'll come on. <laughs> so I think red flag, not deal breaker, though. No, it's not a deal breaker. No, it's not a deal breaker, but it, I think it is a red flag. Mm. Because, like... If you're telling me what your dog thinks and feels, when are you going to start telling me what I think and feel? <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the sign of, an, of a manipulative partner. Exactly. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait, no, I have one more related. Um, oh, wait, so one. they don't like dogs. Ooh. What do you mean by don't like? They don't like them. They don't want, they don't like want you a dog. Do, like, they they do not want one. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I know your answer. And what is my answer? Your answer is the hardest of deal breakers. Yeah, no, that's that's probably my like top three. That's that's in my Here's top the thing, three though. of like Here's real the thing, life though, deal breakers. Here's the thing though, for me, like not even I it's a real love life. dogs. I don't want a dog. Okay. I, at least not now. No, 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 I'm not. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like, 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 I, like, I would only like, get I a, dog. a dog. I would only get a dog if I had a house, and that's I don't fair. see myself owning that's a house fair. in a while. So, like, I'm. So that if that's the case, if it's like a, I like dogs, but I'm not gonna get one because I'm not in a position to get one that's different than like, we're well, not getting dogs. Dogs not setting foot in this house. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's definitely definitely a deal breaker for me more than a red flag. Mm. I think being a cat person <gasps> is a red flag. Ooh, it is a red. You're gonna flag. isolate a lot of people. I know, and but, but that's what this podcast is for because then they're gonna hear and be like, but, she said what, and then the, the haters thing. are gonna listen more. You know. You want our audience to be haters. <laughs> Our family members and haters, um, <laughs> who sometimes overlap. Um, <laughs> um, see, okay, well, I'm I'm distancing myself because I love cats, yeah. so I'm, I'm gonna distance myself from that one. No, I, I'm not. Like I said, it's not a deal. Breaker. And I would say that disliking dogs is a red flag for me, but also disliking cats is a red flag for me. That's fair. Neither are deal breakers to me, but they're both red flags to me. Yeah, I I, th- I think t- being a Cat person specifically, though, red flag. Is it just Actually, is it just they what? like cats over dogs, or they? they if, no, like if both? if they are if they are I like cats and dogs. You're in the clear. That's fine. I can handle that. Mm-hmm. But like now that I'm thinking about it, being a cat person might be a deal breaker specifically because I'm not gonna have a cat in my house. The, yeah, there's that's absolutely the pro- I, no. Way. No, I knew that's where so, you were so going. So you know with what that. it is is it. I'm the deal breaker for someone else. You have so many red flags. I know. <laughs> Not a cat person. Not a cat person. Okay, let's see. No, nah, that's um, a green flag. Uh, okay. They. This one's funny, and this is gonna isolate a very niche audience. <laughs> um, they. Oh man, we already got out the puppeteers, yeah, the they, cat people. They were in. Who's the, next? They were in JROTC in high school, and they still brag about it to this day. Mm. <laughs> okay. So. What do you think about? Okay. Well, here's the thing. I have okay. nothing. I have nothing against JROTC. Um, I don't know that much about it. I was never in it because I'm cool. Um, I was a theater kid because I was cool. They're a theater um, kid. Um, red flag. Oh, theater kids. If, if, if you're an adult and you brag about being a theater kid in high school, then that's a red flag to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Listen, I was in The Wizard of Oz twice, so... I don't know if you know, I was the mayor of Munchkin City. You had the most insignificant part of that play. <gasps> The mayor? I had a whole... You had a like, whole scene? Yeah. Wow. As mayor of the Listen, Munchkin I was City just saying I was the, the I'm just saying I was the main villain in um, oh. two of my plays, so... Yeah. Um, I was Michael in Peter Pan. Who the heck is Michael? Michael, the little boy in the funny pajamas with the teddy bear. 
I've never seen Peter Pan. Though. You've never seen Peter Pan? I would. See, that's my the, voice is so annoying right now. I keep, I keep, I keep hearing myself like go into. This they thing. sound like this, Red Flag. Or two. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> uh, they have a podcast, Red Flag. Or two, uh, I was gonna end with that one. Oh dang it! Okay, no, we'll, we'll analyze that one later. Um, I'll say Red Flag. I feel like. I feel like intensely bragging about, about anything about you did in high school. Anything you did in high school. Like I, I'm super proud of the plays I did in high school. I'm super proud of the music I made in high school. I'm so, like, but I don't like. That's well, it wasn't that. That's not like it's the best. Those aren't bio. the best moments of my life. It's not in my Instagram bio. I don't. It's not a pinned <laughs> um, um, Instagram post. Right. Um, no, I think you should always brag on your accomplishments. Whatever you have yes. accomplished in life, brag like crazy. But I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be like that. Yep, that was it. That was the best time. That was my peak. Uh, that yeah. was that was when I was at my best. That was Thomas Prime. <laughs> <laughs> that was Alpha Thomas. All right, we should we should try to go through these a little bit faster. Yes. Not like fast, but faster. Okay, this one made me upset. It said your date asked for a to go box. Is that a red flag or deal breaker? What do you think? Is it a red flag? No. Why is that a red flag? I don't know. I didn't make it. Oh, up this is on a website. Okay. Yeah, most of these are from. from okay. Wait. Is why it a is red flag? Am I a red flag for yeah. getting to go boxes? I was gonna say, why is that a red flag? Is, is that is that a double standard thing too? It's like, listen, I need a man who can eat his entire plate of food like a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Um, no, I was I was like I always because because you know. I always get a box. Right. But, I rarely get a box. But I, I got also... a box today at Cracker Barrel, though. Oh, nice. I love Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel. Oh, I have a second on the second. <laughs> what? I have one in a second okay. that's related to that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I get I get one all the time. Okay, this is another one from the internet that well, made wait. me laugh. Well, uh, so I, um, okay, go ahead. So Sorry. I, my friend, um, who is also a, a very devoted viewer, Camilla, shout out to Camilla, she, she, we, I was texting some people about this topic and like, all right, so what are some of your red mm-hmm. flags? And I'll try to integrate some of those too. And she said, if they don't like Cracker Barrel, <laughs> unrelated, uh, she may have seen, she may have seen, I did like a post today when I was at Cracker Barrel. She may have seen that, but like, if they don't like, she said, if they don't like Cracker Barrel or if they don't like um, Waffle House, then that's a red flag. Oh, interesting. So here's the thing about Waffle House. Like yeah. Cracker Barrel, if you don't like Cracker Barrel, it, I don't know what to tell you. Um, or if you don't know what Cracker Barrel is, I mean, that's, that is what that is. Cracker but, um, Barrel is magical. They it's have, one of my favorite restaurants. It is a store that also has a restaurant. Yes. Um, but Waffle House, <laughs> I feel like if your hang up with Waffle House is that it can be dangerous or or sketchy, then I'm fine with that. But if your hang up is, oh, the food just isn't good, then yeah, I don't okay. trust. I don't okay. believe you. Okay, no. This one was from the internet. And it said, it said, your date's name is Gary. And I was like, what? <laughs> you... Is that a red flag? But then I kept reading, and it said, your date's name is Gary, which is also your father's name. And I went, oh, okay. That also says Jerry. Eh, whatever, either way. <laughs> no, it doesn't. G-E-R-R-Y oh, is Jerry. I guess that is, yeah. Well, whatever. I watch Parks and Rec, so I get my Gary's and Jerry's confused. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so, so it's just saying they have the same, same name, name as your father or mother. Father or mother, I guess, maybe would sister, whatever. Like, mm. hmm. see, because I think I'd, I'm out. If they, if um, that's a deal breaker. Either of them. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I well, actually, see. either of them, because my mom's name is Aaron, which is also a boy's name. So, nope, couldn't do that. Mm. Nope. Michael, nope. The only way I could see, if it was my sister's names, no. Mm-hmm. Um, if it was like my parents' names, I don't call my parents by their names. No, but see, I do. Coach Aaron, Coach Michael, mm. always. Yeah, I don't call. I call my parents mom and dad. Not I, always. I, I, I say think... mommy and daddy and mama, papa, whatever. I do all yeah. the things. Papa. Papa. <laughs> So I started watching Father. The Crown, and they call each and they call their friend, Papa, and I'm like Jesus. Papa. They literally say Papa. Did you go to Papa? Oh gosh. Um, so I'll say no. That's that's also that's a red. That's to me like those are deal breakers to you. Those are red flags to me. But that's not a red flag. It's oh. not a red flag, but it's like a, it's like a uh, uh, it's like a yellow flag. It's like okay. Then yeah, no, that's fair. It's like a, uh, I don't I don't love that. Uh, if I don't have any more, go date, go through one. Okay, your date's a runner. Not a red flag to me. That is the reddest of flag. It, it is. It is. It more. What's more than red? M- maroon. It's a maroon flag. It's a maroon it's a black flag. flag. <laughs> black with like the skull and crossbones. You know exactly. why? Because only sociopaths enjoy running. That's a fact. It's I like just... jogging. Okay, no, but you. You almost just punched me. <laughs> One, you said like, and two, you said jogging. Those are different things. Um. Now here's the thing. If it's someone who runs frequently. 
but doesn't enjoy it, that's fine. That's fine. Like for exercise. Yes. But but they're like, running is the worst. I hate this, but I'm going to run because I know it's good for me. Like, that that's different, and that's totally okay. But if they're a runner, and they're like, running is the best. It makes you so happy. Running is... No. Mm. You're a sociopath, and you're wrong. Okay. So, I, I just that saw, is my stance, I, I, and I'm right. <laughs> I just saw one of them on here that <laughs> applies to me. Yeah. Two of them, actually. Two. Three, actually. <laughs> wow. Oh. Um, okay, so... Okay, I, I'll go through a few because like you have a few, and then we'll, we'll rapid fire. Okay. Unless there's like some, I'm sure we can probably talk. about. Do you about. remember when we were like, you know what? I think Great we're start. gonna have like a 20 minute podcast. Well, you you like to remind me every single day. Yeah, because it was impossible. <laughs> um. Yeah, because you won't shut up and let me do I like this. That you have goals though. That's great. I'm ambitious. He's ambitious. Red okay, flag. Go. <laughs> Who's he ambitious for? Other women. <laughs> um. Uh, um. Okay. Eats mayonnaise from a spoon. <laughs> Deal breaker. Rapid fire. Yeah, deal, breaker. deal breaker. Deal breaker. Um, un- unironically calls wait- waiters and waitresses the help. Deal breaker. Yeah, that's, that's, no, that's, that's awful. That's the hardest deal breaker I've ever heard. Um, lives in Ohio. <laughs> deal breaker. Couldn't deal breaker because I'm not going to live in Ohio. Black flag. It's still, it's still <laughs> crossbones. We've talked about this. Um, wants to wear one of those shirts that says, I heart my crazy girlfriend. I heart my crazy boyfriend. Mm. That's such a deal breaker to me. I don't. You have no idea. It depends. Are we doing it ironically? Like, is it funny? Are we making a joke? I don't think that matters. I think if here's, we're the, a here's joke. the only way I think those shirts are acceptable. If it's old people. Yeah. If old people have those shirts and that's fantastic. Agreed. If, okay, no, that's fair. If young people have those shirts, I'm like, dear God. It doesn't matter no. if it's a joke to them or not. No, you're no. right. No, you're right. But, but matching shirts, red, like they want to wear it depends like, on what cute, it is. cute matching shirts. Depends on what it is, I guess. Mm, okay. If it's like, it has words on it, probably not. But if it's like, oh, I have this white striped shirt and you have this white striped shirt. I'm trying to think of... We uh, should match. We should match? We've accidentally matched a lot on the podcast. Do we have... We, I don't think we have any clothes that we... Besides just our No, because shirts. I don't have the Atlanta Brave shirt here. I can't Dang. find it. I don't know where it went. And then we have, we have like three shirts that match, I thought. Well, I mean the college shirts, but... Um, oh, well. Keep um, 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 They wear natural deodorant. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a hard red flag to me. I I, I guess I'll go. I know red a flag. lot of hippies though. I guess I'll go red flag. Keep going. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, they get in the tub to like take a bath and then they turn the water <gasps> on and let it fill up around Sinful. them. Sinful. <laughs> Sinful. I saw that this morning. I was like, that's too good to not write down. They sit in the tub to take a bath. They turn the water on and let it rise up no. around them. Mm-mm. Deal breaker. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're missing out though. No. Keep going. Um, um, don't um, become um, the um, thing um. you you wished. What, I don't know what I'm gonna say. That's all I got. Okay. Um, well, I could go through. He is skateboarder. Or your date skateboards. <laughs> um. Red flag. Why is it a red flag? Because he thinks he's cool. Shut up. You're not cool. You're not cool. You're not cool. You can balance on a thing with wheels, Jalen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna tell you to listen to this episode because I'm. Anyways. Jalen. <laughs> One of my friends. Anyways, um, yeah, no. Uh, he plays D and D. Red flag <laughs> and deal breaker. Um, that's a green flag. He is the the dungeon master. That's a red flag. Because <laughs> we both play Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm the dungeon master, yeah. so it's fine. Um, Watches anime. That's not a red flag to me. You it, said it was. I, that was a joke. Um, uh, um, here's what I'll say about the anime thing, though. If it's it depends on the anime. I no, I think it's if if it's the only thing they watch mm. ever like if it's like i knew a person in high school who he was like oh i don't watch people stuff with actual people in. i don't watch like like actual live shows like he was just disgusted by the idea and i was like that's weird it's to weird. me that's yeah, strange know, to me weird. i don't like looking at real people dear god will you tell him that that's a deal breaker for me i don't want to talk to him just again. tell him that that's a deal breaker for okay me, i'll though. text him okay john um, no it's not even there, <laughs> wait really quick though can we say one of my favorite favorite interactions we've ever had can we <laughs> no i'm just reading i'm just reading oh, some of them later. uh because we did on our instagram like mm-hmm. some red flags and like some a lot of them are a lot of them are directly pointed at me like as a joke <laughs> which is funny when you say uh when you say men are the worst and they respond well not all men <laughs> red flag it's at least a red flag. It's, at it's least minimal a red, flag. a red flag. Depends on what they say after, I think. Do you think no? Because that's the same. Mm, no. 
No, if they say not all men, because like it's implied. I. That's not what I, we're saying. I think you should tell a story behind this or something. Huh? <laughs> like I get, I understand the background of this. <laughs> well, never mind. No, just in general, that's that's at least a red flag. Mm. Um, they have an android. Oof, silence. Wow. Well. Red flag. <laughs> Even for you with an android? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah, no, I, I, it, I would say red flag, but like real close to that deal breaker line because I hate sending green texts. That's why you and I talk over Instagram. You said it's the, it's the deal, it's close to deal breaker. I, green texts are so annoying. I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Um, one on, on a, the, a website said your date declines freshly grated Parmesan. What if their life doesn't tolerate? Oh, right. Thank you. I was. I was oh, like, but here's one though, um, that somebody sent in to me. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Um, I don't know if they're comfortable shout outs or not. Um, um, is they don't is I asked her her deal breakers and mm-hmm. she said, they don't like cheese. They don't like cats. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, my favorite one is they're allergic to peanuts. <laughs> Get, listen, I like Reese's too much. I'm going to be <laughs> messing with that. <laughs> um, and then they wear shorts during the wintertime. Like, make a point to wear shorts in the wintertime. Yeah, no. Is that a, that's not a deal breaker to me, but that's a red flag. It's yeah. like, what are you trying to prove? It's like that, it's like that, that um, guy who's just like, oh, this is not even cold to me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go through these faster. Like, I, well, I'm just saying, I know a lot of people who just, they, they don't own long pants at all. Hmm. Like, the, like, it was like, oh, we're going to church. Oh, oh uh, is this going to be okay? Come on. <laughs> be a grown-up. Buy long, one pair of long pants, <laughs> please, God. <laughs> um, No, this was another one from the internet. It says he wears glasses almost every day. Red flag or deal breaker? <laughs> yeah, who's he trying to see? Other women? <laughs> like, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to see. He likes to see. Deal breaker. So is, uh, is the Im- implication here that, like, he just doesn't want to do contacts? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's so weird. Oh, wait. But uh, yeah, no, that's a red flag to me. Um, orders online. It's a red flag to me. <laughs> okay. Get it? Cause I can't see. <laughs> um, orders online so much that they become friends with the UPS driver. That's a green flag. Thank you. Well, okay. <laughs> if here, I could see that being a red flag if you like are financially bound to each other or like live together or like you know you're like oh we just had no, our first kid red... but they just bought. No, red flag or deal breakers are like more beginnings. Yeah, okay. I no, think. you're right. You're right. Um, I think I think it's a red flag if they order so much online that they don't know their they, mm. they haven't talked to their UPS driver. Unless I mean, if they, if uh, they yeah, have contact yeah. with them. No, that's right. Uh, uh, text text while watching movies in a theater. Ooh, in a theater. Ooh, that's, that's a that's, red flag. Yeah, that's Here's where it thing. changes. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I don't like going to theaters because I love talking during movies. I and know I, you that's, do. That I know is you do. a red flag for a lot of people. I know you do. <laughs> and I love talking during movies. Not like he asking, does. not asking questions, just like commenting and pause. making jokes. Pause. I always one. pause. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I always pause to make a joke. <laughs> I know. No, because the, here's the Some thing. Some people think it's it's endearing. Here's the thing. No, it's fine. I've, I've never said anything about it. But sometimes you pause. And then ask a question that's about to be answered. Like, and I'm like, if you just press play for two more <laughs> seconds, you'll get your answer, buddy. Okay. Inst- um, um, no, this one said Venmo ooh. requests you for less than a dollar. That's a deal breaker. Yeah. That's uh, that's psychopathic. Less than a dollar? Less than a dollar. I think anything less than, like, $5. Yeah. I'll, ta- I'll take it. Venmo you know? requests you. That's even worse. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think Venmo requests for... Um, Anything that isn't a whole dollar amount, unless it's like something super specific, yeah. like I, like our bills or something yeah. like that. Right. But if it's like, oh, I paid for your dinner. Okay, you owe me. It looks like twelve fifty three. Like that's weird. Just yeah. do twelve dollars. I always round down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm so noble. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> what if they What if they tipped? Why would you round down? You should round up. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we never do that. We never. No. We just, we just figured it out later. Um, it all comes out in the wash. Instead of texting, they call. Like always. Like they call. Is that a red flag or a deal breaker? Instead of texting, I they like call. I like calling. Me too! I like calling, but there's a very few amounts of time where I'm available to call. Mm-hmm. 
whereas I would be available to text. Um, so it's not a deal breaker or a red flag to me, but it's, it would get annoying if it's like you refuse to text me at all. Yeah. Like you, you do not text me. The only way we communicate is if you call me. I don't like that. Yeah. But. Well, no, see, I, I call a lot. I, I just, I just call a lot of people in general. I, mm-hmm. I, I like, I like to talk to people. Sure. And I, I think over text so much can get like confusing. Only every, every Sometimes. fight, every fight I've ever had has happened because of a text, not because of us talking, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> relationships or otherwise. <laughs> my, my, one of my favorite, I was telling someone this earlier, uh, not fights, we, not fights, but like you and I, it was when I was annoyed and then you texted me and was like, and you were like, are you okay? I was like, I'm fine. And you're like, oh yeah, because people say that when they're fine. And I, and I said, sometimes people are just fine, Thomas. Okay, maybe I'm just fine. She was in fact See, not but fine. here's the thing. And here's the problem with text is that I wrote that as a joke and I perceived your response as a joke. And I was not joking and I didn't think you were joking. So that's my issue. Um, <laughs> Most of the time, I, and here's the thing, here's my disadvantage, is that I, I joke a lot. Me too. No, so that's, where, so, I, that's where I fall apart. <laughs> Okay. Um, These are the last couple on the list. What is this? Okay, no. So this was one of the... I watched a couple videos of people talking about red flags with deal breakers, and someone said, I could never date someone who doesn't recycle. And I was like, what? Not, I don't recycle. Not everyone can afford to recycle. Yeah, it's very expensive, isn't it? Yeah. I don't recycle personally. So. Yeah, I not as a, Not as a personal choice, I just don't do no, it. No, I would recycle, but I don't have The only reason luxury. I do it is because my dorm, we have like little recycling yeah. bins outside, so I do No, that, I did but... when I lived there. So. Um, um, they say they don't like music. Ooh, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, because, but have how you ever met anyone who actually know? says that? No, but I've met people who don't listen to music. Like, they just don't really listen to anything. That's weird. Um... Yeah, no, that's that's a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't know the difference between there, there, and there. Yeah. Um. Red flag or deal breaker? There, there, and there. Neither. Neither. I think it's a green flag. How? <laughs> we don't elaborate on your answer, bud. Listen, I'm just saying because then they'll call me more because they're oh. just clearly stupid. No, um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's a. No, here's here's what I think is funny. I think it's. Like, I make the mistake. I make them. I made a mistake in our last post about there, there, and there. I think well, making a mistake is different from like clearly not. You knowing. genuinely don't. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and I think it's a red flag. Um, but I think like fourteen year old me would have been like, that's a deal breaker. He's <laughs> stupid. And I and I don't think that Man, anymore. Fourteen year old you is brutal. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, that's a different episode. We can go over 14 that. 14-year-olds ourselves. Um, They're a conspiracy theorist. Red flag. Uh, it depends on the conspiracy. Mm. If the conspiracy is that like yeah. ChapStick puts stuff in there, stuff to make your lips dry out faster, then I'd probably agree with you. Um, I don't know. I feel like ChapStick probably like, you know. Not not Carmex, though. Sponsored by Carmex. This week's <laughs> episode. Um, not Velveeta. They would never. They would never dry out your lips on purpose. You're just gonna dry it out because you're gonna want to put it on your lips, like just naturally, just have it sit there. <laughs> you're just just a, that good. Red flag or deal breaker. They, <laughs> they don't they, like Velveeta. <laughs> deal breaker. They Velveeta cheese their lips every morning. <laughs> yeah. Depends. I think it depends. If it's a green flag, until. It's a if green they don't flag. want to take it off. <laughs> it's a green flag if they're sponsored by Velveeta. If they're sponsored by Velveeta, then we will do whatever you want, Velveeta, please. <laughs> please, Velveeta. We love that we always end up we here. We need this. We love We yearn you. for your sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> we are... <laughs> this podcast, this podcast is just us trying to get sponsored by anyone. We are so... Do you want to sponsor do us? Wanna, do you want to sponsor us? Let us know. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Let us know. Email us at barelybarrelbessies at gmail.com. At gmail.com. For serious made... business inquiries only. We could have made an AOL. You chose Gmail. <laughs> still, I can't, no, I can't still, win with you. <laughs> still uses AOL. Red flag or deal breaker? Deal breaker because I'd be I I use AOL. I know. I don't like use my AOL, but I have it. Um, Really cares about your zodiac sign. Mm. Like really cares. I will I say, we say red, red flag. We're going to say it. I will say red flag because if if it impacts their decision making mm. in like a, if it's just like, a, oh my God, I, I all my friends are this and I like that or whatever. Okay, yeah. But if it's like a, 
oh, we can't be friends with them. They're, uh, yeah. like, I don't know anybody that's like that. Um, uh, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't really care, to be honest. Um, but I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to be like, oh, you like this thing that I don't understand? Deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the about la- you? You even answered this one. Oh, what was it? The Zodiac um... sign. I don't think you answered the conspiracy theories one. I don't think oh, you've I... <laughs> answered the past, like, five of them. Yeah, because I've asked them, and I... <laughs> you talk so much, I can't get a word in, Thomas. I'm just kidding. No, I just forgot. Um, what did I say? When did I stop answering? Oh, just listen to the Zodiac one. Okay. Um, no, I don't care. Um, I mean, I guess red flag. No, that's a red flag, if mm. they, like, really, really, really care. But we could just... I don't know. Mm. But I... We talked about this a while ago. I do think, like... Uh, it's definitely not a red flag. It's a super green flag if uh, you guys have different hobbies and interests. You have different things that you're interested in. That's great. I like that. I like that you guys have. Yeah, different I think things. it's. I think it's. You have to have like. Oh yeah, I think it's. But yes, no, for sure. I don't know what that is necessarily, yeah. but it has to be like. Oh, but maybe. you can be into different things. So you yes. can have someone who's into zodiac science and someone who's not into zodiac science, and that'd be fine. Right. Like you don't have to. Do everything. Do you together. think? You do you think a, a couple exists that are both super into zodiac signs? I don't know a couple yes. that exists that yes. is. Yes. <clears throat> Absolutely. They're both super into. <clears throat> they're both super into. Um. <laughs> 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 Such a noise. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> is it a red flag or deal breaker that he's? Can I say okay. it? Yeah. Okay. Um. He says he knows a spot and takes you to a graveyard. Red it's flag. A green flag. Or deal breaker. <laughs> It's a green flag. Is it a green flag? It's such a green flag. It's a green flag. Bright green, neon green neon flag. Neon green flag takes you, takes to, a you to a graveyard flag. first date. Yeah. Green flag. Cool. I was just curious. I'm going to go uh, red flag if not deal breaker. Whoa. I, listen, okay, I have... I can't think of a person I've dated that I haven't taken to a graveyard. Okay? <laughs> I... No, you know what? That's for that other episode. Yeah, that's a that's, different episode. That's for the dates episode. That's the dates episode, okay. So you, you won't get the whole scoop just yet, but you'll, right. you'll get there. And the last one I was going to say is Red Flag or Deal Breaker, they have a podcast. Deal Breaker. Deal Breaker? Deal Breaker, because I don't want competition. <laughs> It would get too competitive. It would get too no. competitive, or they'd, or they'd be like, oh, we should merge, or we should have, have guests. We, no. Like, uh... I don't like people. People no, because, do get genuinely if you if you do think about starting a podcast. People are going to get offended that you don't invite them to be on the show. Like that that has happened for every podcast I've ever had. People are like why why wasn't I on it? Um, so that's why we haven't done we haven't done guests at all for one logistical reasons, yeah. but also we don't I want think, guests yet. Cause I think episode, we'll, I think we we'll, we'll, we can start doing guests when we start doing like Zoom shows. I, I think that'll be the I think that'll be for the best. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think we we'll have room. I think it could be funny, though. I think it could be funny, though. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I, it, I, I get my power only, I think the only reason... Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I, I think the only reason we would have guests is if this is a specific reason. For, <laughs> for a while. Yeah. It's like, a, oh, we're, we're... Like, if you wanted to bring a microphone to your, um, to your competition in Charlotte... And do a podcast there. I think that'd be awesome. Like on the road, come on, that'd be pretty I know, great. I want to do on the road. That'd be um, fun. Or we'd have we did we need a specific reason, um, for a while because we're not really looking for guests right now. No, and also also the like with the red flag or deal breaker, and you and you said you don't want competition. What if that it, was a joke. <laughs> I know, I know. But but what what if it was like, uh, I don't know. I made four cents today. Yeah, well, we made seven. <laughs> yeah, then we that'd be re- that get really ugly really yeah. quickly. And I really hope we don't make seven cents. How are we gonna divide it? Well, I think we already talked about this. Did we? Yeah. Remember? We said if we Well, were... seven cents like an odd number. No, I know. But, but we said if we were paid $20, then the $20 would go in one spot, and then we would di- we would divide yeah, it later. Yeah, we divide it later. Based on how many words yeah, you ta- said. Well, no, you and... take 10, and I would take whatever's left. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is that all we got? Um, Those are the main ones I had. Yeah, I don't have... Uh, we could look... I'm going to look really quickly. Because we asked some people on Instagram, Barely Barrel Besties on Instagram, if they have some. Um, and we got a few good ones. Most of them aren't super funny. They're just more like a sure. like genuine red flags sure, that I think yeah. we could talk about. Um, so they're they're bad at tipping. Ooh. So there's a difference to me between they're bad at tipping because they don't have money and they are just bad at tipping. Yeah. No, okay, I think if the, the deal breaker specifically, especially, is 
they have money and don't tip. And don't tip. And not even like, I don't need them to tip 30%, but it's like you you can look you at should, a thing yeah. and figure out what, what's an appropriate amount to tip. Yeah. Typically 20%. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I tip too much often. No, yeah. I, I, there's one story I will tell, and I feel bad about this, but I rectified it later. I was on a date, and, um... Is that what well, you're it was on a group. It was a group okay, date. Yeah. Um, don't say a group. It wasn't date. a group date. It was me was and there. my girlfriend at the time, and then some friends. Yes. Um, and you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I look at the and don't don't say your opinion on this. I don't want it. I'm gonna. No, I don't. want No, it. you're bringing up the story. I'm gonna say my opinion on this. Okay. I the the story is I panicked, but basically, yes. so I'm looking and I happen to look at my bank account, and I, and it already charged me for the meal, and I was about to do the tip on the receipt. And I had 30 cents left in my bank account. So I wrote on the receipt, I am so sorry. I do not have money. And I was so mad at you because I, if you would have texted and me. And I panicked. That's I why know, I didn't but text But I'm sitting you. across from you. If you would have texted me, I would have Venmoed you right then. Or panicked. like we could have done Here's, something right then. No, I panicked. I know. But I so, what, so what I did was I went back later on a same girl. And it, she did not know about this. I think she still doesn't know about this. Um, is that I went back and I... I, it was a restaurant I, we go to a lot so mm-hmm. I, it took me a few times but when I went back and I got that waitress again I gave her like $30 tip <laughs> for like a $20 meal <laughs> which I appreciate but I was so mad at you I was I like are even... you kidding me I would have I would have helped <laughs> so I act like I'm rolling in money I'm not yeah. <laughs> but I would have helped um, rude to waiters red, uh, yeah yeah no I don't know any, I've never met anyone that's rude to a waiter though when you're surrounding yourself with the right kind of people, yeah. Thomas. You should start being rude to waiters. May add some variety to my life. <laughs> um, impatient, doesn't know your birthday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a hard deal breaker. Yeah. For um, me personally. Well, because here's the thing. I, yeah. I had, I had a, um, my birthday was last week. Mm-hmm. I, but I didn't keep inventory of who, who texted me or not. Because all the people that I cared about texted me, you know? Um, So it wasn't like, I wasn't like, oh, wow. Like, like, I I guess I would have been a little upset if, like, my friend, if, like, certain friends or my girlfriend, whoever, didn't text me. You know, then I'd be like, oh, wow, you know? Yeah. But they all did, so it doesn't matter. Um, So I guess, yes, that would be, that would be a problem. It depends on, I guess, if you've been... I mean, if, if you, we're talking about red flags of dating, right? Yeah. If you've been dating, like if you happen to date the same week and then they don't know, who knows? Okay, but no. you'd, you'd let people know. You, you would, you'd be like, Hey, by the way, my birthday's next week. Just like, I know. What? You don't know that. You would. No. If you didn't make the list, you didn't make the list. Sorry <laughs> about your luck, buddy. Um, if you met someone the day before your birthday, you wouldn't say, you would, you would, you would, you wouldn't tell them that your birthday's tomorrow and then still hold it against them. They would see it. I mean, you'd see it on Instagram. Mm, you'd okay. see that it's my birthday and you should tell me. Sure. Um, but no, I think this is silly and I know it is, but if we, if we like had been dating, we, we, we've, we've been together for a while Yeah. and you You're talking about a person. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. If we've been, we've been together for a while and you don't text me happy birthday at midnight, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be really upset. See, that's, that's a you thing. Here's the thing though. That's a you thing. No, I know. That you need to tell them. No, but they they will know if we've been dating for a while. Sure, no, that's, I'm, that's yes, but the, the thing apparent. because the thing is that's never my first, that's never my first or a lot of people's first instinct. So if you if that's important to you, you need to tell them that. Yeah, noted. Twenty three. <laughs> I was twenty three two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Um, was, was it twenty three? It was something like that. I think Joel was eleven. <laughs> um. It was twenty something. But, right, let's see. All right, last couple. When they go home before dark. Oh, so if, you, so if you're like hanging out and it's like, oh, sorry guys, it's dark, I gotta go, or it's about to be dark, I gotta go. Like you're not, in, you're not a middle schooler. You can, you can, because here's the thing: it gets dark at six thirty. <laughs> okay, yellow flag. If they walk home, I guess that's different. No, yellow flag because I'm intrigued. What are you? <laughs> You Batman? Are you a superhero? You a are vigilante? You a vampire? Are you a werewolf? Please tell me. I have to know. I have to. The full moon. The full moon. It calls me. It doesn't go out. Doesn't go out during the full moon. Red flag or jailbreaker. Ooh, green flag. Green flag. Um. No. Yeah. I think. I think if they're walking home, then it's like okay, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't really don't... have an opinion on this one. I, I think though, if we're all hanging out, and then it's like, ooh, guys, it's seven o'clock. I gotta go before it gets dark. Come on. You're not, you're not an, 
you don't have a curfew. You're not a... I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on this one. I don't have a problem I, either way. You're, okay, so you're saying if we were all hanging out and then every single time I was like, guys, it's 7 o'clock, I gotta go, you wouldn't be like, oh, come on. No, I know fun. your schedule. My schedule is just, I don't want to be out of dark. That's stupid. <laughs> Well, that's no, a red flag to me. Yeah, that's your opinion. That's a red flag to me. Because here's the thing. you Okay, cool. You can't do dates in the wintertime. Well, you do other dates in the wintertime. You I do don't day know. dates? What are you, a child? <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I don't have an opinion either way. Um, loud gum chewing. <gasps> yeah, that's gross to me. Loud chewing in general is a big thing yes, for me. Yes, loud chewing. Um, I can't do loud chewing. Posting... Big news on social media before like t- so like you so the, a way to instead of just telling your friends something you post on social media, yeah that's 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 a red flag. That's not a deal breaker to me. That's um, a red flag. I think it could become a deal breaker if if you guys if you guys have been dating and every time something big and important happens to them they get the job they they post about it before yeah, they, they that post would be about frustrating. It before they tell you, I mean that'd be frustrating. Yeah, that would be frustrating. Uh, let's see. They can also post about it, of course. I don't mind right. that at all. Um, gets mad when you want to spend time with other people. Yeah, no, that's dumb. That's a deal breaker. Um, here's a here's a more con- here's a, a a more pointed one. They get mad, like they want they get really mad when you spend time with, or when you have like friends of the opposite sex. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. No, that's a deal breaker. It's like uh, it, because it's like podcast over. Yeah, podcast over. Sorry, sorry, my boyfriend says I can't hang out with women. Like, come on. Yeah, no, that's Or men, dumb. whatever. Yeah, no, that's dumb. <laughs> no, that is stupid. All right, so I'm going to give you a choice for okay. this for this week's story of the week, if we're done with the... Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so this week's... <laughs> before we wrap up. Episode. Before we wrap it up. Well, I think, like, we've talked for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, I'll just tell you the titles, and okay. then you get to pick. Okay. Probably the, just the next one we'll do next week, but... All right, just go. Um... Am I the jerk for throwing out my husband's dinner? That's all it says? Or am I the jerk for leaving my girlfriend's graduation early? I want to know why why dinner was thrown out. Okay. This is, this is, no, actually, you know what? That's even better because this one's a good one for the, I should have just picked this one. This Perfect. one's a good for the red flag See, one. See, intuition. We're connected. Right. I got, pick up, pick it up. And... My mother. <laughs> I don't know what I'm my, saying. Pick, pick it up, pick it up. My, my. Picking my, up what you're putting down. Right. My mother-in-law calls every night to ask what we're having for dinner. Okay. Then she brags about what she's cooking to make me look bad, especially if we're getting takeout. I used to I used to care, but not anymore. But my husband would ask me to make dinner only for him to go and eat dinner at his mom's, whatever she makes. Ugh. Which is 10 minutes away, um, which is 10 minutes away, and he's using the, that's my favorite meal excuse every time. Yesterday, I wanted to surprise him by cooking his, one of his favorite meals, and although I was busy, I took time off work to cook. Okay. I even went grocery shopping to get what I needed. Later, as I was setting the table, his mom called, told him, I told him that he didn't have to answer, but he did, like usual. Or, like usual, she asked what we were having, but acted surprised that I was cooking this meal. She went on to tell him that she had cooked th- uh, a different meal and told him to come over. He said okay. Which shocked me. I said, seriously? And they started getting dre- dressed up and ready to leave. He told me, no offense, but this the, the meal his mom cooked was even more of a favorite than the one I cooked. Oh, and he no. grabbed his keys and left. Oh, no. I felt awful. I took his plate and threw it out and then ate my portion. As I was about to put the plate in the dishwasher, he got home looking angry, saying his mom lied about cooking his favorite meal and just used it as an excuse to force him to eat dinner with her. I was shocked, but... He sat down telling me to go ahead and reheat dinner. Oh, no. I told him no dinner after he abandoned me. That's, or abandoned yeah. it. I threw it out. He said, what? This is very poorly written, by the way. <laughs> um, he said, what? And I told him he disrespected my time and effort and chose to eat what his mom uh, made instead. He began yelling at me and asked if I did, if I really did that, then... Jesus, this is really poorly <laughs> written. Um, that if I did that, then that's petty and horrible. And then he went upstairs saying that what I did was a hundred times worse than what his mom did. Oh, gosh. Um, uh, I definitely felt like I let my anger and frustration get the best of me, but it felt really unbearable <gasps> having to live. There are fans. I know. Oh, it. my gosh. <laughs> um, having to live with it for so long. They wrote this for the podcast. Um. Okay. So. I'm on her side. 
because that's frustrating. That's she, that's okay. So like she, like like she took time out of her day and was like, "I'm gonna do this for you," I and think, then he was like, "Ah, never mind." And Bye. then he comes back. He's like, "All right, we'll reheat dinner." Yeah, second choice. Go ahead. No, I'm not gonna be your second choice. But the problem is. He does this every time. Yeah, no. Every single meal? No. <laughs> that's bizarre. So, okay, here's something that I, I talk about with a lot of people, um, is that I know a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't need to be, um, I don't need to, my in-law, I don't care if my in-laws like me or not. You should. Care. I don't care if my in-laws like me. It's, it's, what just matters is me and the, the person. So here's the I thing. I don't agree there. If, if they are close with their in-laws, you want them to like you. Like, if you they're close re- with their parents. Yeah, if they're close with their parents, if your partner is close with their parents, you really want your their parents to like you. Real quick, because that is hardcore deal breaker for me. Yes. well, it, That's it, hardcore deal breaker for me. Because for also, me. your parents aren't insane. No, my parents aren't insane, but, 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 but I mean, like, my parents and I are so close that, like, right. that's important. Right. They gotta like you, and you gotta like them. Right, and so Still if you them. have a good relationship with that, but either way, if they don't like you, like, I see, I... I go through Reddit and I read all these stories. There's a lot of stories of in-laws, specifically mothers-in-laws for some reason, but in-laws Monster doing in-laws. stuff like this. There's a reason that there's a joke about like how in-law, oh, I gotta go see the in-laws that, you yeah. know, oh. um, no, both of my parents always say they like really lucked out because yeah. both, like both sets of grandparents I have are just like the best. Yeah. They are the absolute best. Mm-hmm. And, and so they're, they're always like, oh, we hit the in law lottery. I couldn't have been luckier. Yeah. No, and, and it's, it, so it's like, okay, I get, it's like, okay, the, the love you have between you and your partner is most important, but if they're in, if their parents are kind of nuts or, or, or just whatever, you really want them to like you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just important because my mom always says like, oh, you marry the family and you kind of, you kind of do. If they intend on every, they visit their parents every other week and yeah. they, they, you're going to have Christmas together and you're going to have birthdays together. You really want them to like you. <laughs> yeah. I think in general, but she sounds horrible and I think she should, I really, I don't like throwing this out. But you probably just need to divorce. I don't know. <laughs> it, that's, that's weird. Yeah. But, but, but I don't think you have the right to like jump to that. I, why not? If it, every single meal, she makes a meal and then her mom calls because here's but the thing. Didn't you say that for the wrestler too? Weren't you like, oh, she got to divorce him? No. Really? I thought you did. Not for the wrestler. No, oh, the wrestler okay. was like, you guys got to talk about this. Oh, okay, okay. But like the the. No, the the um. No, I think it's a major issue. It's a major issue that's it's not gonna get better. Well, she and, her in law seems absolutely crazy. Well, and I think the other thing like for her is that she, you don't. Like, like, no one wants to be someone's second choice ever. Right. You don't want to, you don't want to be a second choice, but being second choice to his mom, that's hard. That's hard. But here's the thing. In this, in this case specifically, I mean, there are times where like. But here's the thing. Different. Is that it's not, it's, it's not, he's being, uh, she's second choice to her mom, is that her mom is tr- openly trying to sabotage that's, their no, relationship. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's, it's no, different. No, he's doing it. He's giving in. Yes, which just means like in it. no, yeah, and that's why I'm saying like before, if you plan on having kids, don't have kids. Like just divorce before it's even an issue, yeah. you know. Because if if you have kids, it's, everything gets a lot harder to break up. Because like, I don't know, this this is not an issue that's going to go away. This seems like a really bad position for her to be in. Well, here's the thing though, it could go away after this if she dies. <laughs> no. no, after this because now he's he's he, a well, light bulb. She did post an off. update. Okay, well, tell us the update. Um, oh God, um. Hi. <laughs> With the emojis. Um, I posted my situation almost 24 hours ago and I haven't read every single comment because, wow, there are just too many. I saw a few pieces of advice and encouragement and I'm so thankful for, thankful for them. Heart. Um, but I Notice just want to Notice how let she you... says in- advice and encouragement, not get a divorce. What do you want from me here? Keep going. I, th- I think that this Keep is going. a bad Keep scenario reading. for her. Um, no, it is. You're right. Uh, I just want to let you know that I'll be sitting down with my husband soon. Okay. After he breaks the silence, I'm just giving him the space he said he wanted. That's the problem. Is that he's doubling down. He's like, he's like, oh, you threw my thing away. That's oh, so much worse than what you and I talked about this a long time ago. Red flag or deal breaker. Uh, if uh, they're mad and they just don't talk to you and they're like, the end. Like, 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 like until I'm a red flag. But if you can't fix it, then it's a deal breaker. Yeah. No, I and and I, I think sometimes you need to like take a deep breath and be on your own to come back, mm-hmm. and that's fine. That's totally okay. That's great. Right. But if you're like, I'm mad at you. 
I'm not going to talk to you until I decide I'm not mad at you anymore. Right. That's dumb. No, that's that's a deal breaker. Don't do that, yeah. Um, I just wanted to show him... I'm going to show him this post. Oh, no! Okay, maybe... Maybe don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to show him this post um, this in hopes... Breaker. In hopes that he'd see how none of this was my fault. Oh. Um, I will be pushing for couples counseling. Okay. And you might as well just bring out the puppet, too, at this point. <laughs> it seems like a good time to broach that subject. <laughs> By the way, listen, I post, I put and you I'm on blast, I put you on blast on Reddit. So Also, we need counseling. Also, <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Jimmy. Waka, waka. Waka, waka. Um, <laughs> um. I'm not going to lie. I still feel upset and like my efforts weren't being appreciated. His mom is definitely onto something with her upsetting, with her little upsetting stunts. I like how she says that like it's like it's an old school cartoon. She's onto She's something on with her little stunts. Um, I realize how important boundaries are, but I also realize how enforcing this can be difficult. I'm hoping and praying that we will tackle this issue so that our marriage won't suffer, but I'm also still... But if he's also still somehow unable to do his part, then that's on him and I'm no longer willing to go through similar stuff. Just take it. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. So her update isn't really an update. Her update like, is hey, just I read your stuff. I read it and we're going to talk about it. Yeah. No, I mean, I, th- I think that's number one because I, we've, we've joked, but seriously, like, communication is so important. Sure. Like, it just is. Right. I don't remember why you and I joked about it so much. Because communication is key was a joke between us for a long time. Because of the um, the fact that you were saying communi- you need to communicate if you're going on a date or not. Oh, that's why. <laughs> If, it's if, important. Yeah, you need to let it know very yeah, clearly. Yeah, let, let, let us know very clearly, is this a date? Mm. Gotta know. It's, sure. It's hard to pick up on these signals. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to pick up on these signals. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I, I had something else to say, but I don't remember what it was. That's okay. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Yeah. It's hot in here. No, we'll turn the air on. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any closing remarks on um, red flags or deal breakers? If we called you out... Um, Fix yourself. Yeah, work on it. Sorry. Yeah, work on it. Sorry. Cats are stupid. We <laughs> shouldn't end on that. <laughs> we can't end on that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you're looking to sponsor us, go to barelybarelbesties at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> also, um, if you're watching YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. That helps us out. Also, be sure to comment as well. Um, if you're on Apple or Spotify, be sure to rate it five out of five stars um, or four out of five. What? Why? Well, I'm just what saying did you do wrong? for all the cat people. Like, I, if you if you put if you put four, I understand. No, no, no. Okay, four out of five stars for the cat people. Like, like don't hold it against me. Like Thomas said the other thing. So like, what did the other thing I said? No, no. I mean, you were like, no, cats aren't that bad. To like, oh, that yeah, should yeah, get yeah. the star back. Yes. So rethink that. Okay, so just think, so five out of five stars. If yeah, you don't, always. if you're not doing five out of five, don't do it. Yeah. Also, I wore suspenders for you guys. Yeah. I, I'm. You gotta I, do the like. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Make that noise louder. Do it again. I hope that picked up. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's better. All right. Alrighty. Ready? Well, um, thank you guys so much for listening to Barely 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 Besties. Besties. I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. I think we should just, like, straight to the point. Business (laughs) only. (laughs) Business only. This is a serious podcast about serious topics. Right. Take it. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am so serious. Listen, all business. Business in the front and business in the back. <laughs> <laughs>